Hi, right, it's time for another math easy solution. Time to discuss further into differential equations, and now look at example two of the Euler's method video series, and basically solve this example, which states, uh, well, in my earlier video, differential equations, direction fields, example two, uh, electric circuit. Uh, the link to this video is in the description below. You could uh, so make sure to watch out. Basically, I discussed a simple electric circuit in that video and it had a resistance of 12 ohms, inductance 4 henrys, and a battery with voltage 60 volts. Again, to get uh, caught up to date on this, make sure to watch my earlier videos on that electric circuit. So, uh, going further in this example, it states, if the switch is closed when T is zero, we modeled the current I at time T by the initial value problem. Again, this is from my earlier video. This differential equation here, dI over dt, equals to 15 minus 3i, and the initial value is i of 0 is equal to 0 amperes, or 0 amps. And then the example, this question that we're asked to solve is, estimate the current in the circuit half a second after the switch is closed. So in, in other words, uh, basically what we want is ie, or for example, we basically want so we want to know what the current is at 0.5 seconds. So that's what we're trying to find. And again, as stated here, the current is a function of time. So model the current at time t. So first thing we'll do is, well, let's recall uh, Euler's method. Again, we're asked to, um, this is an Euler's method example, and this is one, uh, one of the good methods to approximate this, because we can't just, uh, find the equation right here. I haven't gone over any videos on trying to determine the exact equation. I'm not sure you even can because we're given a derivative and there's the function i. So, but we can approximate. So, Euler's method, recall from our earlier video that basically if you had a function y prime or a differential equation of the form where it's a function of two variables x, y, where y is, the derivative is a function of itself and x and then we basically have and or x and x could be not there but anyway so then we have the initial value y of 0 is equal to uh, y of x 0 then I showed in my earlier video that we can approximate uh, values of that solution let's say y1 this equals 2 we'll just use the previous value so we start from our starting point y0 plus h which is our step size times it by f of x 0 y0, so our initial derivative. And then we can do this for any number of points, and we go to, let's say, yn. This would just be, again, the previous version, yn minus 1 plus h. That's our step size, xn minus 1. And this would be yn minus 1. So the slope at that point. And again, make sure to watch my earlier videos on Euler's method to see the derivation of this. So in our case, you know, I'll write that down in our case. Uh, let's just pick a, uh, let basically the step size be h equals to, let's go with 0.1 seconds. Again, it's uh, step size is in units of the, uh, yeah, of the independent variable, in this case, time. So let's, uh, h equals to 0.1 seconds, and then our der derivative I mean, our differential equation is going to be i, we're using i instead of y. This is equal to f of, well, t and i. And this equals 2 as written above, 15 minus 3i. And then our, our initial value, i0, this equals 2, well, i of t0. And this equals 2, well, i of 0, 0. So both the time and the current is 0 initially. So let's start approximating the first step right here. So i1, this is going to be equal to i0, which is 0, plus h, which is 0.1, times it by, and now we're going to be times it by, plug in our f of x0, y0. In case f is uh, 15 minus 3i, so we go 15 minus 3 and then we have right here i0, the initial one is simply um, 0 right here. So i times 0. So this equals 2, this point 0.1 is the same thing as writing 1 over 10. So we have 1 over 10 times, well, 15. 
15 minus 0 is just 15. So 15 divided by 10 is 1.5. So what this means is basically I1 is equal to, because the step size is 0 0.1, so that's added to our initial time of 0. So this is simply saying uh, I1, or I'll actually write this the other way around. So basically what this is saying is that our I of 0 0.1, step size 0 0.1 added to our initial time 0 is roughly equal to our approximation I1 which equals to 1.5 amperes. Uh, this is always right A. So this is units for current is amperes. I was write it as A or you could write it like that. So this is our approximation. Yeah, this is for the uh, 0.1 seconds. So what we gotta get to the 0.5 or half a second. So let's do the next step. So go to I2 now. So we do the exact same thing. We just keep going. So I2 is equal to I1 plus the step size 0.1 times it by again 15 minus 3 times it by I1 which is 1.5. So we keep going and let's just solve this by hand just because it would be uh, a good use of my algebra skills. Yeah, just a refresher on algebra and it's a good exercise. So this would be 1.5, again that's 1 over 10. Now we have a 15 minus 3 times 1.5, that's, uh, well, 2 times 1.5 is just, uh, th is just uh, 3, so then we add another 1.5, that's 4.5, you can just do that in your head. So that's 4.5, 15 minus 4.5, that's 10.5. You think about 15 minus 4, and then, which is 11, and then minus 0.5, which is 10.5. So this equals to 1.5 plus, now we have a 10.5 divided by 10, which equals to 1.5 plus, here this is 1.05 divided by 10. Move that decimal place to the left. So now what we end up having here is, this equals to, well, let's write this down, 1.5 plus 1.05. That's just, well, the 5 added, uh, 0.05 added by itself, and 5.5, this is just 2.55. You should do that in your head. So, what this means is our I of 0.2 is roughly approximated by I2, which equals to 2.5 amps, is the current. And now we just continue further, so I3, I3, this is equal to the first one, I mean the, the previous one, I2, 2.55, and then, yeah, 2.55 plus 0.1 again, the step size, times it by 15 minus 3 times the previous current, 2.55, and then we get now, and this is a bit trickier, you could put this in a calculator or whatnot, I'll just, I just want to do this all by hand. This is uh, interesting, right? Yes, yeah, so now solving this by hand, let's do this multiplication first. This 3 times 2.55. I'll set it up like this. 2.55 times 3. We have it like this. First thing we'll do is 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the, so you put a 5, put the 1 on top, carry it. 3 times 5 is 15. And then we uh, have to carry the 1. And then, But there's a 6 right here, so, I mean, there's a 1 here, so we add it to it, so it's 16. Carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, add the 1 is 7, so 7.65, and then now we subtract it from 15, so 15, put a 0, 0 like that, minus 7.65, right here, Let's make it match the decimal place like that, so this is 0, so we'll put it as a 10, minus a 1 right here, uh, this becomes 10 as well, but we minus put a 9, because we do that, we have to take this down as well. So 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 6 is 3, then put a decimal place, and then this one's 4 minus 7, can't do that, so we take this out, put a 1, so it's 14 minus 7 is 7, and then it's total 7.35. And again, on my earlier videos, I went over how to do this by hand, as well as the proof of multiplication, subtraction, addition by hand. So make sure to watch those and put those in a link uh, below. It's uh, pretty interesting. You might know how to do this, but the proof derivation is pretty uh, intense. So uh, make sure to watch out if you're interested to learn more. Yeah, so now let's get back to the equation. Again, you can do this all with a calculator. I just want to do this by hand. Just, uh, use, just a pretty interesting algebra exercise. So I3 now is 2.55, 
And then this point 0.1, you could write it as 1 over 10. Now we put the 7.35 there. And again, you could uh, subtract out. This is 2.55 plus, and then this is, I mean, not subtract, move the decimal place to the left and when you divide it. So this is 0.735. And again, uh, you can add this up. Uh, we could do this one. Now let's do this by uh, calculation again by hand. So 2.55, and put a zero here to match this is, like that, 0 0.735, and this equals two, zero plus five is five, three plus five is eight, seven plus five, that's 12, so put a one, carry it, so now we have a three, 3.285. Yeah, so that is what our I3 is. So what this means is now our I of Point three is roughly equal to I3, which equals 2, and again, yeah, this equals to 3.285 amperes, or amps. So that's our I3. So that's our approximation for 0.3 seconds, so again, we want to get 0.5. Let's go to the next step. So I4, this equals 2, I3, 2.85, plus 0.1, times it by, that's our step size point one times it by 15 minus three times i, the previous one, the square bracket, this is 3.285. So we have this, and again, the same thing as before. You can plug in as a calculator, but I'd rather just do this by hand. It's a good exercise. So three times 3.285. It's the same thing as before, times it by three. We get three times five is 15. I carry the one, three times eight is 24. And then, then yeah, carry the one. So that's to be 25. Put a two, carry the two. Three times two is six. And then add the two there, that's eight. Uh, decimal place, and then three times three is nine. So 9.855. And now what we'll do again is subtract it from 15. So 15, this is going to be three decimal places. And then this is 9.855. Subtract it. And again, this can be a 10. This can be a 9. This is going to be a 9. This is going to be a 4. And as, it, as you can see already here, 4, 9. 4 is less than 9. So we just take this, put a 14. So we have this 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 5 is 4, 9 minus 8 is 1, put a decimal place, 14 minus 5 is 5, so 5.14. So uh, we could write this now, simplified as 3.285 plus, uh, this is 1 over 10, same thing as writing 0.1, 5.145. So what this uh, we could do is, is again is uh, divide by 10. So we get 3.285 plus 0.5145. So we have this. Add these up. Let's just do this again by hand, just because it's a good exercise. You can again do this with a calculator or just follow along. Four and then five. Let's put a zero there to line it up. So when we add this, we have a 5, 5 plus 4 is a 9, 8 plus 1 is a 9, 2 plus 5 is a 7, and then point, and then 3 here, so 3.795. Uh, so what this means again, this is our, now the fourth one, so this is our i of 0.4 seconds, let's write this neater. This equals to, or roughly, it's approximated by I of 4, which equals to 3.7995 amps. Like that. And now the last one, finally, to get the 0.5 seconds, I5 is equal to uh, I4, so 3.7995 plus our step size 0.1 times it by 15 minus, and then three times 3.7995, like that. And again, do the same thing. You could use a calculator or let's do this by hand one more time, 3.7995. 
and then this is times it by 3, 3 times 5 is 15, add the 1, 3 times 9 is 27, add the 8, uh, add the 1 to it says so 28, and then carry the 2, 3 times 9 is 27, carry the 2 is 29, uh, carry the 2 again, 3 times 7 is 21, carry the 2 is 23, carry the 2, 3 times 3 is 9, carry the 2, I mean add the 2 is 11, so 11.3985, 3985, now we subtract 15 minus, I'll write this down again, uh, need it out at the decimal place, 4 decimal places now. So 15.0000 minus 11.3985, and then I'll subtract it. This becomes a 10. This is a 9, because we subtract, and then this becomes a 9. This becomes a 9, because it's all 0, it has to be a 9. This becomes a 4, like that. So what we end up having is 10 minus 5 is 5, 9 minus 8 is 1, 9 minus 9 is 0, 9 minus 3 is 6, and then what we end up having is this, put a decimal place, 4 minus 3 is 3, 1 minus 1 is 0, so 3.605. So add this to our equation, I5 is 3.7995 plus 0.1 is 1 over 10, 3.6015. I, I read 1 out over 10 just because it's easier to understand. You just divide by 10. So move this decimal place to the left. So this equals to 3.7995 plus 0.36015. And then do this all by hand one last time. Add this up 3.7995 plus 0.36015. 36015, put a zero there. We have right here, add these up, five, then six, then nine, then this is gonna be 15. Carry the one, then this is gonna be, yeah, carry the one, this is gonna be 10 plus one is 11, carry the one, so now we have a 4.15965, so, uh, what this means is our approximation at 0.5 seconds is roughly equal to our I5, which equals to 4.15965 amps. So that's our approximation. Or put it in other words, is how the example was asked uh, initially for us. So basically I'll write, thus the current after uh, half a second, and I'll also, uh, uh, what's it called, round it up, after half a second is, is basically I5, I.5 seconds, I'll write this out one more time, neater, and this is roughly 4 point, and I'll round it up to a couple decimal places, 4.16 amps. Yeah, so yeah, after 0.5 seconds, 4.16 amps roughly, and that's again, I did this all by hand solving it, just because it was uh, pretty, it, it's tedious, but it's a pretty good uh, refresher on uh, on multiplication, division, uh, and uh, addition, subtraction all by hand. It's pretty interesting, and if you want to learn more about the, that, uh, see that in my earlier video, as well as my earlier videos on the electric circuit and differential equations, so make sure to watch my earlier video on that also. I like that. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learn, like always, you can download these exact notes in the link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.